Let's go. One, two, three, four. Freshly grounds practice in Cape Town. Now, tell me about your practice. Do you practice in Cape Town often? Well, we're based in Cape Town and always have been since we started around 2002. And we do. We practice in Cape Town. What a beautiful setting to practice. In. It is. I wish it was my house. I know. Me too. <laughs> so you guys are playing Kirsten Bosch this weekend. It's not the first time you've played the Kirsten Bosch Gardens. Tell me, what do you look forward to when you hear that you're going to be playing in such a beautiful setting? Yeah. Well, it is exactly. It is one of the best venues that we played. In, in the world, I mean, we you know we played Radio City Music Hall, you know Central Park, and you know all sorts of places, Amsterdam. What it, but it's so great to be playing here because it's just as you say, the most gorgeous setting. Yeah, and we always get our our, our faithful Cape Town local fans always coming there, all 5,000, 6,000 of them. So it's great. It's beautiful. It's crazy. All the people who come out to support you now, like you said, you've played all over the world. You've seen so many different audiences. What makes a South African audience a little bit different? I think there's a, there's a sense that of, of ownership. I think that, that they feel um, they feel it's it's really like just playing at home. It's playing for it's very it feels may, maybe more familiar than when you're playing in Europe or, or in the Americas. Well, I want to talk about the fans. You have fans all over the world. Tell me, where are your craziest fans? <laughs> Our craziest fans. I think Zim. They're Zim. pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> Amsterdam. They're quite crazy. And our German fans are also a little bit local really? in a great way. What's the strangest thing a fan has ever done? Oof, uh, the strangest thing a fan has ever done, you know, there, there's the normal things like, you know, signing boobs. Do you sign uh, boobs? Let's not make a big habit out of it. <laughs> um, yes, I have been asked to sign boobs and other things. Oh my goodness. It's not, let's not talk on TV about okay. this. Um, but, um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty, yeah. some people have done some crazy stuff, which I think I can't really mention on broadcast. Okay, <laughs> don't do it then. <laughs> now, we're at the beginning of the year, it's February, we have a whole year ahead of us. What can we expect from Fresh the Ground yeah. in 2015? Well, we're working on some new music, uh, you, you heard a little bit of that going on yeah. in, the, in the studio. Um, and yeah, that's, we're planning on releasing some, some more stuff. I mean, we've released so far, I think about six albums, um, and we're looking forward to we're getting more fans and to getting the music out there even more. Six uh, and going strong still. Now, yeah. I was surprised yeah. by how you could get such an amazing sound, how you can make that in such a small practice space. Don't you just want to dance around? I mean, seeing you guys on stage, you really own that stage. Yes. What the hell? How on earth do you pack that all into yeah. such a small space? Well, you know, we, we actually usually do have a bigger practice mm. room, but we, we found towards the end of last year and and this year we found that there's, there's something really nice and intimate about playing in a, in a very confined space and, and we're finding that, that this, it brings out something else um, in us that maybe we, we don't get in a, in, a, in a really big rehearsal room. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> special in a way. Okay, well I know you have to go and that noon gun hasn't gone off yet, so I'm going to steal one more question yeah, from you. Tell me, how can anyone watching this video find you guys online, find out where you're going to be next? Oh, it's really basic. You can go to our site, which is just freshdeground.com, and you can also check us out on Facebook, Freshdeground SA. <laughs>